Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about healthier choices management, ticket symbol HCMC. So in this video, I want to cover what should we be expecting next month. So for those of you who don't know um, by now that we have two important catalysts coming in next month. Firstly, we have the PTAB reply, which is due on December 21st. The next thing we should expect is the judges reply in the whole HMC new slash amended complaint. Now, this is not confirmed, unlike the PTAB, but we'll talk more about it. So in this video, we're going to be talking exactly what is going to happen uh, next month because of these catalysts. I'm going to be talking about what's going to happen with data given and what you know what's the likelihood. And then later on, I'm going to give you my speculation on what could happen. So make sure you stick until the very end of the video because I feel like this could give a big insight for everyone who wants to know what you'll be expecting next month and how you should deal with it. So as always, guys, show support for HNC by smashing that like button down below. Again, none of this is financial advice. I'm just saying my own opinion. Do take what I say with a grain of salt. Make sure you do your own due diligence and research. And without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So firstly, we have the PTAB reply, which is due on December 21st. Something we should expect is for a small proportion of investors to come back depending on the answer. Now, this is actually confirmed, so we have to see a reply from the PTAB before December 21st or on December 21st, we won't get it any later than that. So why do I say that? Because of this, we are going to get investors back depending on the answer. So going on, we're looking at June the 16th, 2021. So this is when the review and the petition for the PTAB to do the review actually happened. This is when Philip Morris filed the petition. So June 16th, 2021. Now, if we look on the chart and we go back and go back to June 16th, 2021, you can see after that, we saw the price actually plummet. Despite the fact we saw the price having a good um, pullback and a good comeback um, on the technical analysis. So why is that? Well, the reason for this is because firstly, the PTAB, this whole petition, this whole review could take up to a year. And when you do a review on the patents, it means that the lawsuit was going to be put on hold. So a lot of people obviously worried about this and that's why they left the whole HCMC. Because what I mean by that is, for example, if they didn't do a review and hypothetically the review, the whole lawsuit was gonna finish by 2022, but because they have to do a review, the lawsuit could take up to 2023 to actually end because they have to do the whole review on the pattern, which normally takes half a year to a year. And because of all this hassle, people left. So that's why we saw the price plummeting because of the whole PTAB review. And so depending on the answer, which obviously if the answer is that they don't um, want to instigate a review, then obviously we'll see a small portion of investors come back. But we should also expect the people who are still in HMC to sell some of the shares if they see HMC spike up because there's a lot of panic in HMC right now. And so the price may not change, but we will see a change of investors who are now buying in at a cheaper price and hold for longer. So this is actually very important. I want everyone to really understand this. What I mean by this is right now, there's a lot of panic in HMC. I'm sure most of you are aware. There are some you know, people who are obviously talking about how it's the end of HMC. There's not, may, may not be you, but I'm definitely sure if you are obviously active on the forums for HMC, you will have seen it. And so if they were to see any spike up in price of HMC, and I'm sure some of you may have done it with other stocks where you're in a loss the moment you see it kind of break even or go into profit by maybe one or 2%, you will just sell your shares, get rid of it straight away. This is kind of the similar case for HMC. And because of this PTAB review, like I said, we will see some obviously positive impact. And if we do, if we see the price go above 0 0.007 or 0 0.008, then we will definitely see some of the people who are right now willing, wanting to get rid of the HMC shares, they also get that. Even if they're still at loss, they're gonna get rid of that. And so we're not gonna see everyone leave HMC, but the ones who are the scared right now, the one who have quote unquote pay per hand right now would definitely sell if they were to see the HMC share spike up. And so that could actually then bring us to a net, you know, a change of um, even. So there will be no positive net change nor a negative net change in the price because the amount of um, sellers actually equates to the amount of buyers. But there is a positive in that. And so this is what I mean by that by a change of investors. So there's not a change in price, but a change in investors. Now, what I mean by that is because the reason why the price will go up is because a lot of people are now buying at 0 0.004, 0 0.005, 0 0.006, bring the price up to 0 0.008. But the people who are selling at 0 0.008 may be the ones who are buying at 0 0.01, 0 0.011, right? And so now we are seeing a change in investors who 
originally are having the average share price up at this area to a change where now the investors have an average share price down at this area of 0.004 range to 0.006 range. And because of this, it would make the support stronger as it means that people obviously have now a bigger support to fall back on because people are now not worried. Even if we were to see the price drop down to 0.04 again, it won't cause the same panic as it would if your average share price was at 0.011 because if, for example, if you see the price right now, you'll be in a loss of 63%, right? So it's obviously understandable why people are in a panic. But if your original share price, say even at 0 0.06 and the price go down here, you will only be down 33%. It's still obviously still a big percentage, but if you compare it to the whole 63%, you can see there's a big change. And so this is giving a bigger threshold for investors' mentals. So we'll have a stronger support. So that's why I think even though we may not see a change in price, we actually see a lot of benefit that maybe you guys won't see unless you truly look deep into it. So the next thing we should expect is the judgment reply. Now, this is not confirmed, unlike the PTAB reply. So like I said, guys, the PTAB reply is due on December 21st or beforehand. And um, But there is data suggesting that it could happen during December and even before the PTAB reply. So what I mean by that is that we have talked about this multiple times. The last time it took for the judge to reply to the motion was 94 days. And with data given, normally it takes judges around 90 days to reply to things like this. And so with data given, given how when the motion was submitted, it could also take 90 days, which will actually be early December. And so this will have a stronger impact on the price of HTMC as this determines whether or not the lawsuit can continue into the future. Right, this is so the PTAB was obviously talking about whether or not the lawsuit is going to get prolonged or not. This is actually whether or not the lawsuit will continue or not. And so, I'm sure with that, you guys can understand the difference in importance of that and how big of an effect this will have on the price of HCMC. Right, and so again, if news were to come out, even if it's good, we are still likely to see sellers, but the price will increase. And so, this will have a change in terms of the PTAB. So this will also, like the PTAB, cause the price to go up and cause sellers. However, I strongly think that even though um, we, were, we were gonna be met with sellers, we'll still see a net change. So what I mean by that is, for example, for the PTAB, we're at 0 0.004. We go to all the way up to 0 0.0011, but because of the sellers, we see it drop down to 0 0.004 again. But with the whole um, judge's reply, we could see the price go up to 0 0.011. Again, met with sellers, but because of this, there is more positive, there is more confidence. The price may actually only drop to 0 0.009 or 0 0.008, as opposed to the 0 0.004 going back to that price again. Because this, again, I said, is the ultimate catalyst for HCMC. And so the price will increase because of direct news to the lawsuit, which is positive, and it will attract more investors and give more confidence. Because if the judge says that, the whole motion is going to continue, the whole lawsuit is going to continue. It obviously will give a stronger um, you know, confirmation because a lot of people are worried that the lawsuit wouldn't continue as that is the ultimate catalyst for HNC. And so these are the two things we should be expecting next month with data given. Now let's talk about my speculation on what could happen. And so, you know, these are obviously, even though with this there is data, but it still makes my opinion, but it's obviously a very strong data base. But I want to talk about what I personally think will happen. So. For the TTAP, it will most likely not institute a review on the patent because it is very different from the RJR situation. However, nothing is ruled out. So even if we don't see a review, it'll be what I said above. But if we do, I don't think we'll see much selling as people have already sold back in June in advance of this. And if there is a review, the patent in which they are comparing has distinctive differences, so we'll most likely go HTMC's way. So let's break it down. Firstly, what I mean by that, like I said, guys, if we go back to June 16th, the people who are already kind of afraid of the whole lawsuit getting prolonged this decision have already sold. These are the people who have already sold in advance. So even if we see, you know, the one, even if we do see PTA kind of um, instituting a review, maybe we could see a little bit of sellers, but the big sellers, the ones that have already expected this, have already sold in and is gone. And so that's why I'm not expecting too much selling, even if we were to see them kind of conduct a review. And now onto the second thing. So if there is a review, the pattern in which they have comparing, which is the Robinson pattern, which we have talked about on this channel. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on videos like this. We talked about how there is distinctive differences between the two. And these distinctive differences are what makes HMC's pattern unique. Also what makes Robinson's pattern unique and it doesn't clash with each other. And so it will most likely go HMC's way, but obviously this will prolong the lawsuit further. And if we talk about the Peter, uh, rather the judge's reply, you know, I just ultimately think that the judge's reply will have a huge effect. 
would the judge uh, you know say that they can't continue the lawsuit i highly doubt it because what hmc has submitted is actually very well written out it is completely different from what they have wrote in their last motion which again we have covered on the channel both of the motion in fact and you know they gave a lot more evidence they gave a lot more um reasoning and just everything you know they talked about how they conducted an experiment on the icos device they brought in the physician um no, a physicist sorry to obviously do this and so there is a lot of things that they have included in this new motion and which i think that the judge will obviously accept however it's obviously ultimately not up to me it's up to the judge and i can't tell you what the judge is thinking but most likely is that the judge will agree with what hmc says and continue the lawsuit Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about HMC and comment down below what you guys want to see next. And with that, enjoy your day.